the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 266, Edra 3 to 4. The sound of song and the sound of lament. The temple of God, which was miserably broken down by the Babylonian army 70 years ago, finally began construction and its foundation was laid. First point. The temple reconstruction generation returned to Jerusalem from Persia and the first thing they did was to restore a kingdom of priests. The people of South Judah who returned to Jerusalem from Babylon after 70 years each lived in their own places and then gathered during the seven months. These people can be called the return captives and also the temple reconstruction generation. They worked hard to reconstruct the temple which had been burned down, and more importantly, to restore a kingdom of priests. One of the first things they did was to make the altar for the offering. Although in reality, they did not even have the grounds prepared for the temple, they still desired to make offerings to God. They did not have the holy place or the most holy place set up but they made the arrangements to make offerings to God nonetheless. Second point, the temple reconstruction generation went ahead and reconstructed the temple, which had been burned down and non-existent for the past 50 years. Finally, the people started to prepare for the restoration of the temple. They started to recruit skilled workers and the materials needed. The overseeing of the temple reconstruction was carried out by the Levites, who were 20 years or older, and the overseers for the workers was Joshua and his team. This was because the Levites knew the most about the temple and its logistics. Third point, both the sound of singing and the lamenting was heard during the process of reconstructing the temple. At last, the temple reconstruction project launched. Although the preparations were not really enough compared to David's preparation, back during his day, the procedures commenced nonetheless. Many people remembered what it was like back then and shed many tears. Both the sound of joy and lamenting could be heard. Both sounds were so loud that it was difficult to differentiate which sound was which. They looked back at the lavish days of Solomon and then the divide of the countries, which was followed by Israel's collapse, captivity, and then returned to Jerusalem. They were indeed grateful to God for enabling them to return and for His grace and mercy. Fourth point, the temple reconstruction generation refused the request of the Samaritans in their help with the temple restoration. When the project for the restoration officially began, the Samaritans asked if they could contribute. The Samaritans became a mixed race nation due to the policy of the Assyrian Empire, and they were believers of all sorts of idols. But they suddenly said they wished to contribute. However, they did not have good motivations in the slightest and thus their offer was declined. They used the Cyrus's decree as an excuse to say no. Fifth point, the Samaritans continuously interrupted the temple reconstruction project through bribery and false reports. When the returned captives declined their offer, the Samaritans started to bribe the Persian officials to stop the temple reconstruction from occurring. They went out of their way to interrupt this project. Ezra recorded the stop of the project due to the interruption of the Samaritans. 
Concerning this, Haggai and Zechariah encouraged the returned captives to strengthen their faith in God and to continue on with the restoration project. Because of their interruption, the temple restoration was on hold for 16 years, and it resumed on the second year of Darius's reign. However, judging from the records of Haggai, it appears that the Samaritans were not the only reason this project was delayed. The people of South Judah did not try to overcome this, but reluctantly accepted this situation. The Samaritans went as far as to report them. The first report was made to King Jaxis. The second report was to King Arthur Jaxis. The Samaritans first claimed that the people of South Judah were building evil buildings. The second was that they would restore the temple, but they would not offer tax or tribute to Persia. The third was that they would not be of any help to Persia. The fourth was that they would revolt against Persia. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.